Mr. and Mrs. Scorpio, how do you do? How do you do? Uh, Polly, please. Polly <laughs> uh, says that you're visiting for a while. Oh, well, somebody's got to get this little niece of mine ready for the big event. <laughs> and I hear it is going to be a big event. A big, big event. event. <laughs> well, you know how Claudia is. She likes to do everything on the grand scale. The doctor isn't expecting any complications, though, is she? Uh, no, but you never can tell, and I'm going to Philadelphia for some tests. Yes, my husband, uh, Claudia's Uncle Frank, is head of obstetrics at a very fine hospital there. <laughs> but I will be back in time to help with the preparations for the charity ball. Up, up, up. Leave some time for shopping, Claudia, dear. You know you've got to get baby clothes, uh, baby furniture, furniture. As you can see, Claudia's you. family likes to pamper her. In this, in this case, I don't mind one bit. <laughs> yeah, well, no arguments for me either. Should we find a seat, huh? Yeah. Oh, I this one over here. Oh, good. <laughs> Well, I think I might have <clears throat> another one. You pig, you've already had two hot dogs. Well, come on, any American worthy salt should be able to sock away at least six. Having a good time, are you? Mm, so much so that I might let off these cherry bombs I have in my pocket later on. That's illegal. It's July the 4th. You're really getting into the spirit of this, aren't you? Mm, hot dogs, corn on the cob, all those... Chicks running about in those little shorts and funny tops. You know, I can see why the Yanks go for this holiday. They're supposed to be celebrating independence. Oh, yeah, well, 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 I like that too. I mean, I even had a tear in my eye when they were playing America the Beautiful. You? Really? Weren't you the one who uttered the quote, uh, patriotism is the last refuge of scoundrel? Mm. Doesn't apply here. This is patriotism from the heart. You know, it's a shame Celia couldn't be here. I hope she's all right. <sighs> yeah, well, look, let's forget about that trial for the moment and get back to some heavy celebrating. Independence Day. You know, it's a shame I don't have mine yet. Oh, you're the most independent woman I know of. Yeah, but you don't always approve of it. Ah, <laughs> but you see, you can't have too much of a good thing unless, of course, it's me. Robert, that's what I've been telling you about. What? Look. See? Yeah. What do I look? First Leo worked on, on Sylvia, and now he's moving on to Mrs. Barrington. Doesn't your imagination ever take a holiday? Oh, Amanda! Say, could I interest you in a game of horseshoes, Commissioner? Well, uh, I'd like to, but I haven't played that game before. Oh, it's an easy mark. Come along. But what's he mean by uh, horseshoe? Well, Holly? Oh, can you? Enjoying <laughs> yourself? Yes, very much. Do you know the nicest thing about a picnic? The ants? Yeah. No, no, I said the nicest yeah. part. A long walk in the woods. Uh, not alone, of course. Nah, no fun alone at all. <laughs> Red alert, Hobby's back. Oh, hi, Chris Wright. Yeah, I know. <laughs> nice talking to you, Mrs. Scorpio. <laughs> All I see is a rather over-enthusiastic masseur that can't keep his paws off women, regardless of the age. Condescending attitude is exactly what I meant by huh? independence. I want equality and I'm fed up with you not taking anything I say seriously. But darling, I do, I do. No, you don't. I mean, you seem to think that I spend all my time making up stories just to compete with you and your work. Why don't you come and watch me and throw a few horseshoes with Lee, eh? Hmm? Like that? You haven't listened to a word I said, have you? Well, yeah. Holly. We're going over to Kelly's. You want to join us? Uh, if you do, just meet us yes. there, okay? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. Mr. Macho here is going to go and uh, pitch uh, horseshoes. With any luck, one might land in his mouth. Uh, uh... Three-legged race, even if he wanted to be in it. <laughs> and why not? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're awfully quiet, Holly. Oh, I'm just enjoying listening to all of you. <laughs> I think I'm going to uh, make myself some tea. Help 
Hail the conquering hero. Yes? What? Oh, what's the day am I having? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm having a very good day. What's that? A symbol of my victory and a token of my undying affection. Say you'll be mine. Make me the happiest man in the world. You're very silly. I'm also giddy with victory, not to mention a few other things. How did you manage to win? You told me you've never played horseshoes before. It was a tiny lie. Uh, you, we do have a, a similar game back in Australia. Much tougher, you see. Horses. Uh, the shoes are still on the horse. What a man. No matter what sort of a man I may think I am, I'm... I'm not going to be without you. I love you. Come on, huh? All right. But you still have an awful lot to learn about women, you know. Well, uh, I'm of average intelligence and prepared to learn. How's about the first lesson tonight? Really? Hmm? You can be the boss. Hmm, I think I'm going to like this. Which way do you want to go? This way. <laughs> Bye, old. Bye.